ask about bike safety. Oh, uh, yeah. Stuff. So, do you mind talking to me for two seconds? Go Why for it. I'm Pat. Bye bye. This is Jen. Blake, so, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. So, we're just interested in, you know, bike traps and how they're working for you and, you know, what sort of scares you about uh, around the city and Okay, um, the new material, the green stuff, is crap when it's wet. Oh, so it's like it's very slippery. slippery. Yep. I'd rather like road surface yep. stuff. This is the busiest section in Sydney for bicycles. Yeah, yeah you need stairs to get up there. It's kind of dangerous. I've seen yeah. the other day, I, I was a bit stupid. I tried to ride up. Yeah, I, I changed my lowest gear and I'm like, ah! Yeah, I thought you could do it, yeah. <laughs> uh, it was alright, but you like... No, really? almost. Um, Can you ride down? Yeah, you need very good brakes for that. Um, this this path is very bumpy for the busiest section of the Harbour Bridge. Um, in terms of bike lanes in the city, I hate them. Um, this happened to me in a bike lane. A taxi decided to pick up a fare or something in the yeah, and um, I, I have a piece of steel in there now, so. The only good bike lane in, in the city is probably the one that runs on Burke Street. It's got a nice big section of um, an, a nice divider. Ah, okay, so they can't oh, right. Yeah, painting, painting a, a line on the road is worthless. I mean, I, I like to call them door lanes because cars park next. Yeah, it's, it, it can be a bit scary. And when you're riding a road bike, um, it's, it's a bit pointless to use them anyway. Cars like to turn without looking, you know, the, the rules, the law is pretty ambiguous, you know, like if you're gunning it at the same speed as a car in a tiny, tiny patch of, yep. of, uh, of slippery green paint or yes. whatever, yes. Um, and a car wants to turn, like whose right of way is that? You know, I'm going the same speed as him, yeah. but I'm constrained to this like half a meter section, yeah. like it doesn't really make sense. Um, if you if you look around Europe, they they actually put bike lanes um, on downhill section. Um, sorry, on uphill sections, but not on downhill sections, because it's a bit pointless. Like, yeah. if you're going at speed, um, why why be squished into a door zone? Yeah, I don't know. I, I like the initiative, but it it seems to me like they just decided to do up some plans in paint or whatever and take. Take five minutes to yeah. How do you find the ones where it's like pedestrian and bikes that just sharing? Um, the one that goes to ride yeah. is really good, but that's kind of um, better because they kind of separate them. Um, the so once you leave here, do you head across to that side of the road? Yeah. There's no bike lane there. No, it's the shared it, footpath. No, I don't go on the footpath. Yeah. I used to like like. I guess if I see a lot of traffic, I might like take the footpath for a little bit and try and cross cross over. But essentially, um, a lot of pedestrians are playing on phones and stuff, and there's a lot of tourists in the city, and the the markings on the ground are a bit ambiguous. Yeah. And light wise. And uh, lights. I don't have lights now, but I don't. I try not to cycle it. You don't ride, yeah. They always get stolen. They? And yeah. to buy lights, um, to buy, like, you, you kind of have a few options with buying lights. You can buy cheap, crappy ones that will last a week, right. or you can buy really nice, high-end, expensive ones that will get stolen. Right. Um, or, or if you, if you like, if you're in a rush, um, you don't really have time to take things off, like. You have a million gadgets on a bicycle. It's not like a car. It's not yeah. Yeah. built in. Um, so, I I guess um, yeah. I've had I've had some nice lights stolen, and it's a bit unfortunate. But um, I'm trying to buy some German-engineered lights. Um, they they run off. They sit next to the brakes, yeah, yeah. Yeah. and uh, they run off a neodymium magnet. It's it's really efficient, yeah. and they, they have a secure lock, so they? they won't get nicked. Yeah. 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 Oh, cool. And do you, do you work in the city and park over there? Or yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you ride every day? Uh, pretty much every day. Yeah. yeah. You got a facility? Uh, I just started a new job today, and they have a really good facility. Okay. It's in the car park and good secure locking and a bike area to yeah. ride in. Yeah, that's 
Yeah, yeah. definitely. Cool. Anyone hold you up anymore? All right. Do Do you guys want to know anything else? I I, I love speaking to people who are interested in oh, cycling. So. Relevant ideas about safety. Uh, I think the helmet law is stupid, actually, because um, it's compulsory and it makes you feel like you're Superman. It, this is if you if you're interested in this, there's uh, a couple of YouTube talks. TED, uh, they talk about the the illusion of safety with the helmet law. It really only protects you at low low uh, speed impacts. Otherwise, if you're going fast enough, you're probably gonna snap your neck anyway so like yeah. yeah i i used to not ride without without a helmet and i was a lot more cautious without yeah until i got fined now i put a camera and stuff on there and camera. yeah and lights and stuff yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. mm. anyway thanks, thanks, thanks. see ya. Thank you.